Welcome to Love Them Knives channel, where we always have something interesting to talk about, like knives, like knives, like a button lock knife from Kaiser in their Vanguard series. So this is their budget line, okay? It's a 154 cm blade. It's black G10. It's a button lock. It's an Azo design called the Brat, like I said. Three and a half inch blade, but yeah, it's an integral. It's one piece. One piece of trade 10. Look at that. Pocket clip, deep carry. Can you go left? No. <laughs> no, you can't. Okay, whatever. Uh, but what is this all about? Do we have enough jimping on that blade? Let's kick it right up in here, right? Three and a half inch blade. And like I said, Azo. Um, 154 cm. Wow. And it's a budget now. Oh, now I can't get it to stick. Okay, now it's got a little stick. It comes and goes like a crazy ghost. You know what I mean? Probably with time, the stick, the sticky part like that just went. You know what? Yeah, the harder you bang it open, the more likely you're going to have a sticky, a kick that's sticky um, like that. But the, the, the less you do that, uh, yeah, the better it is. So we'll see over time how that settles down. Um, it's not difficult to overcome, but it's a little. Now, now, it, now it didn't do it. Okay. Yeah, there you go. See? Yeah, that's. Yeah, that can be a little annoying. So. Um, overall. That's uh, fascinating that they do this at this price range. Uh, I think the other G10 Integrals I've seen were like at least around $150. So this at 89 Smackers, and that's on the Kaiser site. I'll give you a link to their site, okay? And uh, here's what they say, okay? Well, it's an Azo, it, you know, all this uh, high performance features in here. 154 CM, and they're talking about their heat treat process. Of course, it's got uh, a lot of chromium in it, so it should be pretty um, uh, corrosion resistant. And of course, now, now it's not. Oh, now it is. Okay. On and off, on and off. Sometimes it sticks, sometimes it's nice and smooth. So, uh, specifications, three and a half uh, blade, and here's the other for pause and, uh, pause and, and read. But yeah, now, now no problem. Okay, so I guess if I'm a little bit more gentle with it, not a problem. But you really bang on it, yeah, you're going to kick, uh, kick the stick. Um, interesting that they did this button lock like that on an integral piece uh, there's your design flow and it's all the way out you got plenty of blade to handle length you got enough uh, of a flipper tab here uh, yeah i mean i would have think I, I would have brought that down a bit i think you could have made it about half of that you didn't need it that far end to end that I can tell because I'm trying to look at where it's engaging. Um, and I don't think this has anything to do necessarily with it coming to a, to the stop. I mean, it's hitting the stop here. Other way around. It's, you can see here, um, it is cut back in this area to where it wraps up around that stop and so you could have actually made this maybe front to back a little uh less 
width and made it like here and a little bit lower and made it a lot more subtle. This is kind of a sail on here and then down here as well. So here's your contact patch kind of sitting up here, right up here. Could have reduced that, could have made that thinner, maybe a little bit uh, more pleasing aesthetically. Uh, I don't know. So if you got one of these, you know, uh, sound off, put your comment in. This is black G10. I'm not aware of any other colors that are available. Um, that would be nice as well. Maybe they will develop this over time to where there will be other colors. Maybe they could do a G mascus type swirl, you know, that kind of thing in different colors as well. Now, is it, uh, is it sharp out of the box? Okay. All right. It's got a good standard factory edge. It's not scary sharp, but it's it's good. Stone wash on the blade. Uh, did it need to go that far down on the jimping? I don't know, but they did. And uh, no big deal one way or the other. Yeah, that'd be all right for this as well. Uh, ergos are just clean, right? This is a very simple design. Very basic. And you know what? It doesn't feel very heavy. So, okay, we're good now. Uh, 3.6, okay, at 102 grams. So, not very heavy for an 8 inch knife with a 3.5 inch blade, okay. So that would be what 90 90 millimeters yeah 90 millimeter blade three and a half eight inch right on the dot practically at about 20.2 centimeters uh this seems kind of fat but maybe it's not nah, it's 13.9 so it's 0.55 it's not overly so but it's uh it's you know it's a good handful that's for sure Probably three millimeter blade stock. Yeah. Yeah. 2.6 actually. Uh, let me get around to the fatter. Actually, just do this. This is the full width here. Yeah. Mm, 2.6. Yeah. 2.6. So, yeah. Not real thick blade stock. That keeps it light as well. So, it's, it's pretty light considering... And obviously, you know, this is pretty structurally sound here as being one piece. So really, that's pretty damn solid. Um, don't know what it would withstand necessarily if you ran over it with your car or something like that, if it would snap that. But uh, it looks pretty damn solid. Uh, grippiness is okay uh, for the G10, and this definitely aids in that as well. And like I said, yeah, it's comfortable ergos-wise. It's a very basic looking, uh, simple design, which may appeal to you. And, you know, you can go insanely crazy with the uh, fidget factor on this. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Um okay Ooh, i slapped that one and then it it gave me a wake up with the button yeah there you go yeah so yeah i'm getting that now i'm doing now i woke it up now now it's behaving okay so i guess if i whack it real hard it's gonna give me some more of that button talk but um i don't know maybe it's just mine but it is definitely uh, fidget friendly most of the time here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just don't get too rough with it, right? One thing for sure about Kaiser, I like the way they're doing these things these days because they give you extra hardware. It's nice to have that, okay? So there's that, that, and there's not a little lot of hardware going on in this integral knife because... They don't need it. It's one piece, okay? 
So let's grab this little dog and see if we can make it to where we can't put it back together again. And uh, I don't know what's going on here. This is interesting. And I uh, let me see how that stacks up. But you've got... You've got um, a reinforced area in here with this steel. And it looks like you got a captured pivot right there as well. See that? So I don't know if you'd have to knock this all the way through to... Uh... Oh yeah, you can. You can push the pivot through and take this blade out with the bearings on it. And you know what? I think I'm going to think better of that and not do that. But this obviously helps secure the internals here that reinforce that pivot. All right. Kaiser Brat Integral Button Lock. Super fidget friendly. 154 CM. You know, budget priced. Deep carry pocket clip. Um... But it's right hand tip up only. Very simple design. Very lightweight for what it is. And very strong. So interesting they do a G10 Integral. And uh, of all the G10 Integrals I've seen, this is definitely way less money than the others that I've seen. So I like it. It's, it's all right. You know. Put in your two cents worth. What do you think? If you got one of these, what's your what's your experience with it? And remember, we love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.